this is a video update on ISOM. Um, I'm laying down right now because my health is not. I've been well for many years. I, I thought and felt it important to talk to you, to tell you the truth about ISOM. And not just ISOM, but the other uh, heavenly bodies that were accompanying ISOM and may still be accompanying ISOM. I will tell you that ISON in the beginning was accompanied by a, what I believe to be a failed or failing um, miniature star that was out in front of ISON that was supercharging it with its uh, ultraviolet um, you know, light or radiation uh, production. Um, they saw a brief, you saw a brief clip of this uh, failed star that was in one of the uh, videos where it just it came into view for a couple of frames and then it looked like it disappeared again. But what had actually happened was that that mini star was being outshined by the sun. And so uh, when ISON came around from surfing the sun, because ISON made direct contact with the sun, it surfed the sun and uh, then grazed it as it came around to our viewpoint, our view of it. Um, that mini star, uh, as you know, when the sun raises up during the daytime, uh, you can't see the other stars because it outshines all of them. So that star, the, the optical illusion was um, was uh, that the star was kind of invisible. You couldn't really see it. But it, it, it was still in front of ice on, so it's uh, maybe failing, but it still could be you know, 100 million to a, to 100 billion metric tons of uh, uh, liquid uh, gas that is uh, radioactive in nature and of a radioactive nature that has a signature that's extraterrestrial and not like the radiation that we find in our terrestrial earth like plutonium and uranium but far more um, radioactive for instance I'll explain the sun rays that reach us from billions of miles away can still burn the skin of people. And that's why they need to have some sort of a blockage for, um, you know, to put on suntan lotion or something to, to block this rays away from the skin. People have underestimated the power of the sun. And I tell you that on Mercury, the planet Mercury, all the elements there, are so highly radioactive that if they would take a sample of any of it and bring it here it would be more radioactive than plutonium and uranium just because it is so near to the sun and ISON had a direct um, had a direct encounter with the sun so the elements of that metalloid rock comet and the meteors and asteroids that are made up of metals and, and rocks and crystals became super radioactive, far more radioactive than plutonium or uranium and poses a great danger to life on earth with it the potential and it's fanning out and um, it is um, in, the, in the plane equivalents of um, shrapnel, space shrapnel or a, a shotgun blast from the cosmos uh, where uh, dust, sand, meteors, and possibly an asteroid and a failed star may crash into Earth between um, this morning and uh, sometime near the end of uh, March of 2014. So I don't give exact dates here because I only look at the signs that are in the heavens and uh, only God knows the exact time. Uh, of all things so but I tell you that there's a season for stuff so that when you know that it's spring uh, you know that the the, uh, the trees will be budding and stuff will be growing again and then um, you know that uh, you know uh, that by looking at the signs of the heaven that trouble is on the way um, the supercharged particles um, the ones that are sand sized will not be um, decontaminated by the uh, naturally occur occurring uh, 
what they're calling the black bodies that are in the magnus the magnetic um, uh, protective shield that surrounds our earth it's only designed to uh, cut down on the radiation of just sun rays only and not not designed to stop um, sand sized particles or dust sized particles of a colloid in um, size from from falling upon the earth and causing great um, uh, radiation damage to life on earth so understand that uh, we are facing a calamity that is coming most likely uh, time to pray uh, understand that all is God and uh, when I say za I'm I'm speaking in the old nomadic language za means word in this case word of God Zaza means the word or that word and so when I say Zaza Ta'al it means the word with God and so may that be the light that guides you in the distressing and dark times that will follow uh, from this morning into uh, the middle of March of 2014 be safe my friends and uh, I uh, hope you a uh, uh, a blessing and understanding of this phenomenon.